Here we are in the corner store of the 1980s. And yes, this dingy thing is new. It's so annoying. If you work here, it'll drive you crazy in seconds. And the big thing about the 80s corner store is they were competing with everyone. So they had to cram as much stuff into the shop to stay afloat. A hundred million new kinds of chewing gum, for instance. Packets of chips, stuff that people would just grab on their way through. The gold phone is very big in the 1980s. It weighs about a ton, so no one can steal it. Arcade games. Now they hung out in corner shops in the 1980s. That's your Pac-Man, your Space Invaders. This is the corner where your louts will hang out and never buy anything. Slushies, an important development, particularly if you're a kid. Hot food, well, the corner store really did a great line in hot food. And the beautiful economical thing about hot food in this pie warmer is that it can stay there for months, remaining warm, developing salmonella, and you'd be none the wiser. Lots of plastic around this, lots of packaging. We had no idea in the 1980s that this was murdering the environment and gouging a huge hole in the ozone layer. We did get onto that eventually, but just not quite yet. Microwaves, that will make a pie soggy for you. Cold drinks and hot drinks. The cafe bar. Have you ever wonder what's inside these things? Lots of powders. And when you press your buttons, powders get all involved. It's not good. Cheezels arrived. Very happy development. Magazines here, obviously. There was a fridge section, maybe with a nod to fresh food, a little bit of sliced meats and cheeses. And the other thing that happened was aisles. Space was at a premium. So these shops became very crowded. Fluffy dice, obviously, uh, they're very crucial. Uh, leg warmers, of course, because uh, you'll be needing those, no doubt. And these, yo-yos. I remember these, I was never any good at them. Essentially, this is a place that will be open from 7 a.m. till 11 p.m. with that horrible dinger going off throughout. It means that shopkeepers in the 1980s were grumpy.